When the initial European settlers came to central Mexico, they observed that the Aztecs targeted the slender billed grackle, the reason for this is partially unclear. Some speculate that they were targeted because they were seen as pests who ate their crops, while others believe it was to use their feathers for headdresses. They choose to use their black tail feathers rather than their bright green feathers for reasons still unknown. It is believed to have gone extinct around the turn of the 20th century, after disappearing from the Valley of Mexico. It had been hunted extensively by local populations for use in rituals. The grackles were collected in areas near the towns, as they were gathered the day before rituals were to be held. However, hunting is not believed to be a major cause of the slender-billed grackles' extinction, and may have instead caused the grackles to become locally extinct in the areas around towns. Lagostomus crassus is an extinct species of chinchilla that was native to Peru. It is known from a single skull found in southern Peru. Newfoundland wolf is described as being a medium-sized, slender-skulled wolf with a white pelt, though melanists also occurred. In comparison to its mainland relatives it bears a striking difference in its internal accessory cusp angles allowing for distinction between subspecies. The last specimen was reportedly killed in 1911. Guadalupe storm petrel was almost indistinguishable from its relative, leeches storm petrel. In the field, they could not be told apart except by their annual rhythm. In the hand, the Guadalupe storm petrel could be distinguished by slightly larger size and the paler underwing covers. There is no evidence for sexual dimorphism in this species. The introduction of cats to the island decimated the population during the late 19th century. Introduced goats were also responsible for degradation of the environment. By the end of the 1906 breeding season, it was still considered abundant, though the large numbers of birds present there and then must have been nearly the entire population of this species. Still, it was noted that the mortality among these birds from the depredations of the cats that overrun the island is appalling. Wings and feathers lie scattered in every direction around the burrows along the top of the pine ridge. The pigeon migrated in enormous flocks, constantly searching for food, shelter, and breeding grounds, and was once the most abundant bird in North America, numbering around 3 billion, and possibly up to 5 billion. A very fast flyer, the passenger pigeon could reach a speed of 100 km per hour. The bird fed mainly on mast, and also fruits and invertebrates. It practiced communal roosting and communal breeding, and its extreme gregariousness may be linked with searching for food and predator satiation. Passenger pigeons were hunted by Native Americans, but hunting intensified after the arrival of Europeans, particularly in the 19th century. Pigeon meat was commercialized as cheap food, resulting in hunting on a massive scale for many decades. There were several other factors contributing to the decline and subsequent extinction of the species, including shrinking of the large breeding populations necessary for preservation of the species and widespread deforestation, which destroyed its habitat. A slow decline between about 1800 and 1870 was followed by a rapid decline between 1870 and 1890. The last confirmed wild bird is thought to have been shot in 1901. The last captive birds were divided in three groups around the turn of the 20th century, some of which were filmed alive. The eradication of this species is a notable example of anthropogenic extinction. The extinction of the passenger pigeon aroused public interest in the conservation movement, and resulted in new laws and practices which prevented many other species from becoming extinct. The rapid decline of the passenger pigeon has influenced later assessment methods of the extinction risk of endangered animal populations. The Rodriguez de Gecko fed on various insects and other invertebrates. 
They also like to lick soft, sweet fruit, pollen and nectar. The species lived on the island of Rodriguez, where it typically inhabited forests and dwelt in trees. Its habitat has been largely destroyed by humans and introduced animals such as cats and rats, which may have been the main cause of its extinction. The Carolina parakeet was the only indigenous parrot within its range, as well as one of only two parrots native to the United States. It lived in old-growth forests along rivers and in swamps. Though formerly prevalent within its range, the bird had become rare by the middle of the 19th century. The last known specimen perished in captivity at the Cincinnati Zoo in 1918 and the species was declared extinct in 1939. The evidence is indicative that humans had at least a contributory role in the extinction of the Carolina parakeet. Hunting played a significant role, both for decorative use of their colorful feathers, for example, adornment of women's hats, and for reduction of crop predation. A factor that exacerbated their decline to extinction was the flocking behavior that led them to return to the vicinity of dead and dying birds enabling wholesale slaughter. They were probably poisonous, some noted that cats apparently died from eating them, and they are known to have eaten the toxic seeds of cockleburs.